university students thank you for tuning in to my video today i am so happy that you have joined me today for a very special video like always today i decided to bring you guys along on the journey with me to dye my first hand dyed yarn on camera this can also be like a time capsule for me to look back 10 years from now to see how much i've improved in pro in progress in dyeing yarn and how much larger my business has gone from two balls of yarn to maybe a whole production of yarn so if you haven't watched my video about all the things that i have purchased in order to be able to um dye the yarn then go check that out i'll either tag it in this video or link it down below if you watch my video on all the things that I purchased in order to start this business, then you would have noticed that I purchased a variety of different yarns just to try them out and test them out. So I am in, I have about 10 um, DK Superwash Murano. So I chose two out of the bag. I, bought, I have two, I'm going to use Come up with a color scheme out of these 11 um, different colors of um, dye and I'm going to come up with two very vibrant, very cute colorways. Take a few zip ties off. I'm going to on. Do the yarn. I am going to do two different designs on the two of these. I'm going to go maybe for a blue and yellow on one and then a kind of vibrant fuchsia violent um, vibe on this side. take this is a half cup of vinegar do I know if I need that much I don't know I'm going to pour it in some water. had the concoction sitting in some water and vinegar I 
I haven't put on the stove yet. I'm gonna put the stove. Do I know if I need this much? Joe doesn't know. Turn off the fire now. And just cover it. The yarn is collecting the color. Water is getting a lot clearer. So this is my first yarn. Oh my gosh, guys! Are you excited for me? Okay. So because the blue is already in there. I'm gonna cover it, let it sit for a minute. This hot future, I let it steam for a little bit. future I let it steam for a little bit now I'm gonna add in the purple or the violet pretty light Going to let it steam come back flip it over and then i'm going to to pour some of this on the other side pour some of the dye on the other side and then let it steam one more time and then more it is not bleeding anymore so i'm just going to bring it out
his guys I'm back I have two different um, colorways this one I'm gonna call purple nurple I don't know what I'm gonna call it yet but this one is like a ombre pink purple um, violet kind of vibe and then this one I have a name for it. I'm gonna call it berry blast because it has the red the purple the violet the pink or the hibiscus in it um yeah so say about this um you know it's my first time so what i will say is i either have to use less vinegar because i feel like it took longer to dry depending on how much vinegar i had in the, the mixture and i may or may not try citric acid i think because to avoid the smell it doesn't smell like vinegar once it's dry but i feel like it took a long time not to smell like vinegar or it took a long time to dry so or maybe i'll just use the vinegar and use some detergent to wash it hand wash it out i'm not sure yet what my process is going to be i'm still figuring it out but now we're going to put this on to the swift and so i have my yarn soap set up over here and I have my um, yarn winder. Okay, I got my label. And obviously I'm gonna have to make it larger, but this is still 